Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day I bid to our MEC 435 lecturer Dr. Juri Saindon. In this video presentation, me Zahirul Alimi bin Suraini and together with my four other friends would like to present our mini project. In this study, our group decided to redesign the existing drone. Drones are more formally known as unmanned aerial vehicle or unmanned aircraft system. In general, a drone is a flying robot that may be commanded remotely or fly autonomously using software control flight plans in the embedded system in conjunction with onboard sensors and GPS. Drones are currently used to do search and rescue, traffic and weather monitoring, firefighting, videography and even delivery services. The problem is due to the limited field of view and quality of the image when it is taken from the higher height. Next, the problem is also due to the limited delivery distance of the existing drone. And the last one is the difficulty of delivering things using road transportation. Our design objective is to facilitate movement to make delivery to all places easier and to enlarge the field of view of the camera used for our drone. And the last one is to modify and redesign the existing product to increase uh, the product functionality and quality. Hello, my name is Amiru Fikri and I am from Group M2. And I will present about my part which is first about the justification of the product chosen. The reason why we choose drone as our product is because nowadays technology is developing rapidly among humans as now we live in an era which technology is majority used to help us doing our daily tasks. Furthermore, the demands for drones within these few years increase since drones can be used in various sectors such as photography, monitoring, military and many more. The drone can exceed the human limit so that we hope our product can benefit the mankind with the potential that it has. Moving on to the second part which is benchmarking. First of all, the purpose of benchmarking before we make our product is to evaluate the comparison of measuring company operation against the best company inside and outside of the industry. In simple words, it is to compare among the sample product that we have chose. So, our team have chose 3 sample products for comparison purpose. From there, we will identify the unique features that each product has as an idea to make our product. Then, we compare the best product based on the chosen factors that needed. After that, we specify the product and choose what our final product is going to be. Here, we can see the table that our group have made for the benchmarking process for the product. So we have listed the features of each drone at the left and we can see they have different unique features uh, for the each product. We can see on the product one, uh, it has three blades while the other two only have two blades. And so on we can see another features that are listed in the table. So moving on. To the third part is the, the, the advantages and disadvantages of our product that we want to make based from the benchmarking that we have decided. Okay, the advantages are it can move faster since we have increased the propeller size of our drone. The drone has attractive design and is safe for users to use since it is equipped with sensor that will automatically avoid obstacles near it. The drone is high durability since we use durable material to make our drone. It also can be used in longer time and carry heavier payloads. Lastly, it can be spotted easily during night because we have included LED indicator around it that will ease the user. But for the disadvantages of the drone is the drone is bigger and heavier than the usual drone and it is not portable. The drone need a high maintenance since we use petrol power engine for the drone. But with proper care, the engine can last long and doesn't need frequent maintenance. Alright. For the fourth part is gathering 
information part. We gather the info about our product, product that we want to make based from the sources which is first, online website. We search for the useful info about our product to know further and deeper about it. Second, we watch the YouTube videos to see the recent creative design and compare it with our product from the YouTube. The third source is online shopping apps because we want to educate the most preferable type of brand and unique features that the consumers love based from the customer reviews. That's all from me, for my part, from my group. Thank you. Next is for the concept generation. Concept generation is the most critical step in engineering design process. It is a procedure that starts with a customer requirement, target market, and a result in a different product concept design. For this concept generation phase, morphological chart was used in order to make a comparison between the main part that involved in our drawing. On the other hand, the part chart was used in the evaluation concept phase. So here is the morphological chart. In this section, we were able to make a comparison between the main parts that involved in our product. The main part of our drone were main body, landing gear, propeller, propeller guard, camera, remote control, and engine. Through this conceptual design that involved morphological chart, the more suitable design for all of these parts above were determined. For the first part, which is the main body, option Z was chosen to be the main reference for the body part of our drone. The fancy design of the center of the main body looks very flashy and unique, causing the drone look more attractive. Besides, the dominant focus on the body offers stability on the whole system. This design also acts as a central hub for sensor, camera, USB port, as host, engine and frames. This material of the main body Z is waterproof as it is so vital that the internal components of the main body do not get wet. Part chart method is particularly useful method for identifying the most promising design concept among alternative generated. It compares each concept relative to a datum concept and determine whether the concept in this question is better than, poorer than or about the same as the preference concept. In this segment, four products have been selected which are GPS drone, commercial drone, military drone, and single rotor drone. Several criteria and expect has been compared in the tabulated data above which include cost, safety, design ability, aesthetic, ergonomic, durability, and many more. Every criteria has been given a score for every product based on a specific weight using the symbol of plus, minus, and zero. This is important to determine the product's ranking and the higher rating of the product will be chosen. Through this analysis by using part chart, concept 2 was found to meet the criteria of our drawing. This concept obtained the highest score compared to the other concept. Therefore, the best concept was successfully identified and that is the commercial drone or concept 2 as our final design. to see the view from the drone when we using it to fly high in a higher place and also able to take picture and video from the higher place the next one is the propeller guard which is able to protect the drone propeller even when the drone hit something like for example like hitting three branches it will not damage the propeller itself The third one is the LED indicator that we place on the drone's propeller guard. It uses to indicate the current condition, whether the condition is the drone turned on or turned off, 
hollow in the tree. Also, and other than to indicate the current drone's condition, we were able to use the drone even at night. You can see where the drone go in, in dark places. Next, which is the fourth one, is the mini basket or something like place to hang. Uh, add it to the drone so that we can deliver things by putting or hanging it at the drone like especially during this MCO we can give something to our neighbors we only just we only use this drone like something like food something that doesn't require as much weight and la lastly the fifth one is the does not lost we can easily find it attached at the drone when we finish use so that's all for my part thank you there are some of the ethics that our product follows the first one is the quality of the product product with good quality will always have a high demand from the customer our product also has its specialty where it is durable since the material that we use is aluminium. Then, it has several main functions such as monitoring and delivering. Next is the safety of the product. Safety is a primary concern when dealing with unmanned aerial vehicle because it is for the safety of the user and also for the people around. The product has the obstacle avoidance sensor that can avoid accidents to happen while the drone were used. The third one is environmentally friendly. Drones have a large potential for reduced transport emission, while potential carbon reduction for the cell vehicle are more limited. Therefore, it can be said that our product is environmentally friendly since it brings less damaging effect on the environment. And the last one is the product warranty. The characteristic of our product is lightweight but it is very strong to support various kind of weather when it flies in the sky. The material that we use for the body frame of our product is also a chemical and corrosion resistant material which can make our product last longer. In this mini project, an improvement of already existing product have been made. The existing drone so far usually consists of moto, frames, propeller and camera. This design combines all the goods and also further improves from the existing product. The product that has been made up comprised of multiple functions such as for delivering, recording and monitoring from the sky. Every part of the product undergo different manufacturing process with a different materials. This product was made up to 37 different parts. By identifying the needs and the problems, the product was created to make a daily activities for users much more convenient and easier. The user also can make the delivery, monitoring or capture the view from the greater altitude in the sky. Other than that, the user can use the product conveniently as it is a modern and versatile product. The tolerance needs to be considered in order to achieve a perfect structure of the product. If the dimensioning method that had been used were not accurate and not precise, it would be give a massive problem when assembly the part process. The isometric view of the product that had been assembled in Cardia software will be discussed in appendix section. After the final design has been selected, students will determine all the dimensions of the product according to the standard dimension. At this phase, students will discuss and decide the size of each product, material and modification that are needed to design the product. This is to verify that there will be no problem when it comes to assembly process of the product. The next step is sketching the part of the product design using computer edit design system. All students need to sketch the part that has been distributed according to the final design that has been selected. In this process, it requires student skill to use CAD system to sketch the part that was assigned to them. When all the parts of the product have been produced, students will assemble it using assembly feature in CAD system. From this part, the product of the design selected will produce in 3D. Okay, 
We will now proceed with the last section, which is the computer-aided designs drawing itself. I will start with our drone's assembly drawing. This is the final product after all of us together have combined every single part that we have drew earlier. Basically, this drone consists of 35 different parts. It is mandatory for every single person in this group to at least make 5 parts. However, everyone has contributed very well in producing this drone. This is the exploded drawing for the drone. It is vital to view how one final product just occurred and appreciate the steps and progress. Even from one tiny part such as this LED indicator propeller gun. I will now show every part of the drone one by one. The first nine parts was made by me, which are the center body, frame, baskets, connector, and camera, exhaust, landing gear, and its rubber. Up to this point, it can be considered as the drone's fundamental build. Moving on to the engine, one of the most contribution in attracting audience attention when looking at this drone. The engine was made by Hanim and Yaz. All the parts are cylinder head, piston, connecting rod, upper part crankcase, slide valve carburetor, crankcase, rear bearing, crankshaft, o-ring, pull start one-way bearing, back plate pull start and pull start starter shaft. Engine is important in this drone as it uses fuel which is petrol which I would like to show now. Moving on to the next one is all the parts that are vital for the drone's flying application which was made by Amirul. Those parts are the motor, propeller guard, propeller, nut, petrol tank and its lid, LED indicator arm and also LED indicator propeller guard. There is no need to further prove why all these parts are important since the main well-known of the drone is its ability to fly up in the air. The final category can be classified as the accessory and the speciality of this drone in terms of its technology, which was made by Amir Firdaus. His part are the antenna, connector 2.0, drone controller, and its holder, and USB port. All that parts are so crucial to confirm user's convenience and to ease the function's flow of the drone usage. Okay, that is all for now. In conclusion, this assignment of mini project have definitely boosted our knowledge about computer edit design. Uh, skills and technique to use Katia software in a correct and precise way has been much exposed to everyone. It can be considered a success performance since all the objectives and aims of the project were successfully obtained. This drone is by far is the greatest and the best and the longest time taken for a Katia product that we have made. Thank you very much.